there's two braces that fit together. Okay. But so if this is an assembly, there's actually three screws. There's a screw here, but we're going to use a screw on this end and this end. Okay. Um, and is that not what was happening? They weren't using the braces at all. Oh, so the extra weight was causing pressure, which was causing. Well, them yeah, to... I can show you that here in a second. Now let me re refresh my memory on how this goes together, but. Jack, that thing's bigger than you are. Oh, wait, it's over here. You lie on this one. Oh, I guess you are. You're so, tall. like on this one, we already have a screw here. Mm hmm. So, normally what they were doing was they would just tighten this up. Okay. And then they put their mouthpiece in here. Yeah. But it's still moving around. Right. What ultimately happens is this collar and this bracing and everything just breaks. Because okay. this is, no matter what, still loose. Sure. So the idea behind the brace, let me see if I have this together right. Wait. That's, is it, or, I'm not a tuba way? player. Here. This is the convertible one, so it's on this side. So we have this okay. over here, mouthpiece. So normally this is tight. Right. But that's what this is for over here. This fits here. There's a round end. A round end and a square end? Yeah. So this, are we actually still videoing? Yeah. Okay. I'll turn this into YouTube and email it to him. This, because this moves in and out. Mm -hmm. So the idea is, depending on how it fits for them, because oh, okay. it's not, you know, if we set it up to work, let's say if Jack was big enough to play this, if we set it up to work for Jack, and you guys have different lengths, it's not going to work for both of you. Right. So it is kind of customizable. But first, once they get it in here, okay. Got it. Now this is solidified, and this isn't moving around a lot. Now you can move it some mm -hmm. to adjust to where they're at on their shoulder. But once you have it in, in position, let's say this is it. Now we want to tighten this, and we want to tighten that, and we want to tighten this. Now here's the key with these. These screws are all brass. They've all snapped these off before. It's just like a saxophone neck. Mm -hmm. You don't have to turn it until you can't turn it anymore. You just turn it until it stops moving. Don't crank it down. There's no reason to do that. You'll Got eventually it. just twist it off in there, and then that turns into a whole other repair issue. But now that we've tightened these up, this isn't really going anywhere. Let's right. Let's tighten that a little bit more. So it's not really going to move. Okay. So in the past, when you're not using these, that's where this breaks off down here. And it's just always moving. You know, it's Plus always, the weight of the mouthpiece probably helps yeah. make that happen. And then, and normally what they're, because a lot of times they're holding it, holding the mouthpiece with their hand, and they're just wrenching around on it. So one, two, three screws, and that brace assembly. So, you know, obviously when you're taking it out and putting it in the case, you have to take the lead pipe off. So you're taking these off. So you're taking the whole thing off. So we have to add a little bit more time to the disassemblement. Pretty much. And assembly. You know, they're going to loosen it and readjust. And they'll get used to it. But it's just, if you don't, that's when you're spending four and $500 on repairing one tuba. And you don't have it while it's in repair. And multiply that times six tubas. Now we're talking several thousand dollars. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So get that, boys. The number one thing I always recommend, like I said, don't over tighten the screws. It's easy to do because they're brass, but they don't have to be super tight. 